Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. And uh, one important thing that we are going to talk today in this video is that the certification for testing, certification for automation is really needed or not. Although I have already prepared uh, such kind of videos earlier on my channel a couple of times, a few years back. But again, I think uh, I'm getting a couple of uh, DMs in the emails also that uh, what is your suggestion, Naveen, that in 2023, 2024, do I really need to have a, a certification in automation or in testing or do we have any a certified Selenium certification or something like this? So guys, my personal advice is that as such in automation, especially there is no such certification. If someone is giving you the certification for the open source, they are absolutely making you fool here don't go behind the certification i don't want to take anyone's name those organizations or those institutes name see even i can also give you a certification and i can say that okay yeah, now you are selenium certified tester or something like that no i'll show you the proof also that what exactly selenium guys says about the certification remember one thing for open source technology like uh, <clears throat> or open source tools or open source libraries selenium playwright these are just the web automation or maybe the API automation library. Selenium is for web playwright or Cypress. You can use web plus API also. They are just made for a library simple to interact with the browser or maybe the APIs. Okay. These are the open source libraries. You can customize it accordingly. You can just uh, uh, take the code from Selenium, customize it, create a wrapper on top of it, or uh, create a new tool out of it on top of that that also you can do it but claiming and giving the certification for selenium is absolutely uh, not a good practice and it is not uh, certified and it's not officially recognized also and not even globally globally recognized people come a student they come to me and say that okay nabin why don't you start your own certification program the i give the training i you can take the training there is no issue with the training or courses or anything whatever you want to learn from youtube or paid courses or paid training it's totally up to you but uh, on the basis of that, if I'm giving you a certification, I can give you the course completion certification for the training, but I cannot claim that you are absolutely a Selenium certified or automation certified guy now. Because in with cert certification, there is no guarantee that you are actually really good. Until unless we have to define a process that how to get the certification, what kind of exam, how many questions that I have to ask, on what basis, because everything is so practical here in in automation that where you have to implement the practical things in terms of framework, in terms of design patterns, in terms of reporting, in terms of writing the test cases, best practices, principles that you have to follow with respect to solid. And there are various use cases are there for application to application, how exactly you are managing your data and everything. So there are many things in terms of automation that you have to prove. So I would advise you, in fact, <clears throat> instead of uh, running behind the certification, I would advise you to go with the go with the core skills, the knowledge that you are having it and knowledge that you have to achieve that matters a lot at the time of interview. Remember this thing, right? Another thing is that for the manual testing, do we have any certification as such? See for manual testing also generally we say that ISTQB is there, which is actually officially certified. If you really want to go with that, you can go with that. I'll give you some uh, stats also around ISTQB that what exactly people think about ISTQB and everything. There are like other examples, like other exams also like CST or other testing certifications are there for manual testing point of view or testing point of view I'm talking about. But again, as such, there are no much values for that. If company is giving you the, uh, you know, if paying for those certification and everything, you can go with that. But please don't. That's my personal opinion. Maybe you are, uh, you don't agree with that. That's my opinion. But maybe you don't agree with this thing or maybe you are uh, having your own opinion about it, about the certification for the testing point of view. But my advice is that please don't run behind the certification. As such, there are no such certain certifications for the automation. Same thing for manual testing also. Like one of them is the ISTQB. But again, it's not mandatory that you should have a have an ISTQB certification, something like this. Right? So maybe some companies or maybe some organization or maybe some countries where uh, you are, I, I'm not sure that, okay, which country generally people say that, okay, no, in this particular European country or maybe in Australia, they are asking that, but I have so many students, so many uh, friends are there in different countries in these, in this particular countries, 
uh, in these countries and uh, I, I and they are not at all selenium or any IST give you certified. Nobody is actually asking for that actually. So maybe one or two percent people are asking for this and you are spending a lot of time going through a lot of uh, bookish knowledge and theoretical knowledge and then going through the typical definition and then how can I judge your knowledge just on the basis of four objective based questions. So in that case, uh, so don't run behind the certification, improve your uh, test craftsmanship skills, testing skills, improve your testing mindset, improve that. How can we test that application? What is the importance of automation? What kind of automation tool that I have to learn and everything and what are different new things are there in the market? Better you focus on that thing. Better you focus on and spend time, your money and resources, your effort and everything on your skills, the practical things that you are doing it more and more practice, the more and more uh, uh, tools and the framework and the design patterns and the core skills that you are learning that will help you a lot along with uh, your testing skills no doubt about it right so i'll show you a couple of things here that uh, then uh, i hope that will be useful so a few months back i started one poll here about the ist giveaway certification here you can see the question that i asked on linkedin that have you ever been asked to show your ist giveaway certification in fact i am also uh, you know, before, uh, like, like 10 years back, I did my certification, but I never used, I never been asked. And after that, I stopped mentioning in my resume also. So <clears throat> have you ever been asked to show your IS2QB certification? So three, four options were there. Yes, no, and IS2QB doesn't matter. So if you see this almost 66 plus 21 and 13% is only saying yes. Most of the people, majority of the people saying that, okay, no and 21 so you can say 66 plus 20 which is around 80 uh, 21 which is 87 percent people say that okay i used to give you almost like doesn't matter or uh it's not required and if you see the the number of votes 6710 votes that's i would say uh, a really good voting percentage i would say for the testing community point of view or a qa community point of view and if you open the vote section also here that in that case if you see that almost like almost out of Six, seven, six, seven hundred people, only eight, seventy people think that, okay, yeah, it is really, it matters or, uh, but 4,440 and around 1400 people say that, okay, is to give it doesn't matter over here like that. Right. So this is just a stat that I really wanted to show you. In fact, there are multiple polls that I've been doing from last couple of years and every time I'll get the exactly same result. So I'm not behind any specific thing that, okay, no, it's really bad or something, but if it does not make any sense, it's not that much useful, then why are we really running behind the certification? Better we improve the skills, better we improve the core skills of a testing, learn a new tool, or learn, learn a new technology and learn a new library and then try to learn the practical things instead of learning and running behind these tools and spending money, efforts and hours. And if you are not able to crack it, then again, you will be uh, you know, demotivated unnecessary. So that's what I, I would advise you to please don't run behind these certifications. Second thing I really wanted to show you here that you go to official Selenium website. If you are really confused that, okay, do we have any Selenium certification? Because every, almost like every day, I get this question that, hey, in fact, uh, two days back only somebody asking that, okay, certification matters or not in Selenium or, okay, how can I be a Selenium certification? Selenium certification guy or something like this as such, not like that. So let's talk about Selenium dev Selenium certification. We will go to the official website that is selenium.dev and we will go to the support page here and you just scroll down guys. And uh, here, just read about this section certification and the training, learning how to use Selenium effectively can be a taxing task. There are various companies who offer Selenium training. So training is absolutely fine. There are so many institutes. Udemy courses, YouTube channels, there are many trainers are there in the market, but there is no officially recognized Selenium certification available and the project developer strongly believe that certification is of no real benefit to individuals or the industry. It's clearly mentioned. We have not authorized anyone to offer official Selenium certification and anyone who claims to offer it's misusing the Selenium project's trademark and its branding. See this, this is clearly written if somebody is offering you the Selenium certification with the name of like official certification or something like this, that's absolutely wrong. Please don't uh, run behind these claims. 
and uh, please don't uh, run behind this uh, selenium certification from the typical institutions are there in the market please don't do that training is good it's good to that okay we are learning from each other we are learning from the resources from the community from the channels from the uh, bloggings and everything and from the courses but certification is absolutely no from the selenium side <laughs> so this is just i really wanted to show you is officially written here as well and same thing for the IS2KB also. Most of the people, they claim, and you go through it. I'll share the uh, URL of this LinkedIn post. Go through the comment also. What exactly other people, they think about, what's their opinion about the ISTQB or other testing certifications there in the market. Especially for the test automation, as such, we don't have that. But I'm not saying that so in which area we have to be certified. Maybe you can certify it for the AWA certifications or Azure or Microsoft Azure certification. You can go with that or any cloud certification if you really want to try. That you can try for that. But uh, <coughs> Selenium, test automation, certain things are not there. Maybe some paid tools are there in the market or codeless automation tools are available in the market like uh, Tosca or any XYZ. And from their side itself, the certification is available. Maybe you can go with that. It depends project to project, but think about the demand of these tools in the market, which is like very, very less. So most of the uh, open source communities or open source dev communities, which are taking care of these tools like Selenium, Cypress and Playwright, WebDriver, IO, officially they don't have any automation or tool-based certification in the market. So again, my personal advice is that please, please don't run behind the certification this is just a small video that i really want to give you a message i really want to convey this advice a message to you guys that please be careful with these certifications thank you so much